Update. My parents and two-year-old walked in on my wife and I having sex. Where do I even start? I received great advice on this sub, so thank you for all of that. For anyone who did not read the original post. The TLDR is that my parents and two-year-old walked in on me demolishing my wife in our kitchen. A lot of people asked what happened right after they walked in. The short of it, is that kid ran up to his mom. He didn't know what was going on so he was okay. And my parents and I had awkward eye contact for a bit. I think they were too shocked to move. We covered up and my parents left. Firstly, I immediately removed my parents' fingerprint access from our doors. I apologized to my wife. But although she was upset initially, she thought it was quite funny thinking about it in retrospect. I was so relieved to find out that I will have sex again. Secondly, wife will be 12 weeks pregnant in the upcoming week. So for all the people joking that we should just tell my parents we were making their second grand kid. Well, it certainly is awkward that we actually were going to break news on that soon. Thirdly, all of you who said kid might say something at daycare, you all cursed me. He did. He told his teachers that mom and dad play like the dogs. But luckily his teachers were mature about it. And we laughed. One teacher shared a similar experience with her parents. And then finally, what everyone wants to know. The dreaded talk with my parents. My dad called the following morning. He honestly just started laughing as soon as I picked the phone up. I expected that from him, but I still felt incredibly awkward about the whole ordeal. We had to drop kid off at his grandparents' house yesterday before our shift so it was the first time we both faced them. We sat down and just addressed the whole situation head on. I told my parents that they crossed a huge boundary by entering the house in a non-emergency situation. They apologized, especially to my wife. They said they couldn't hear anything but they heard scuffling sounds in the kitchen and they were concerned that our dogs were tearing up the place and they just didn't think in that moment. My wife was very forgiving and I'm grateful for that. We let them know that their fingerprint access has been removed and they understood completely. We will only give them access when we go away on vacation, etc. Mom is still a bit awkward with me but I think she just felt about weird seeing what she did. Which I understand because I still feel weird about it too and the visuals pop into my head at least every hour. I'm just pleased that my wife is okay and that kid does not seem traumatized. TLDR. Don't smash your wife in your kitchen if your parents have access to your house. Link to original post. I remember when my dad walked up to my place and saw myself and my ex-fiancé doing the same thing. Not when you want to make eye contact with a parent. This seems like the best case scenario with everyone being understanding and mature. Lucky you. The memories, visuals will fade with time. Congrats to you both on the pregnancy. Cry laughing reading this. Thanks for updating. My sister has walked in on me and my fiancé twice so I can kind of feel this pain. I can relate. The awkwardness will die down my mum picked my kids up and we locked the door. Thought she drove off. I was bent over the kitchen table. My mum has keys and had forgot something. She just said oh my god you could have waited woman facepalming she. Still has keys but definitely makes sure she knocks first lol. Nice change of pace to read something here that's hilarious and not soul-crushing. I love the part when you said you're happy to know that you will indeed be having sex again. This is hilarious but, I think it turned out the best it could have. I think I really lost it when your kiddo said what he said. Kids say the wildest things. Oh Jesus thank you for the update. I hope things continue to get less awkward over time. I can relate to this I walk in on my mom and dad at age 2. 
Then walked in on my dad again this time with my stepmom at age 11. They were trying to make a baby. My brother wasn't born until 2015 tears of joy. Glad it worked out okay for everyone. You can help by changing the image in your head from them walking in on you guys to your view at that time with just your wife. Make it a memory of just the two of you. Great update. It happened to me and my husband. My son asked why we were wrestling. It was horrible and very funny at the same time. I think now it is a great memory. Son is now 31 years old. And husband is past. There are worse things. I think you will look back and laugh too eventually. What a great update. Love it. I kinda had a similar experience. But the other way round. More like walking in on my mum and her husband having sex. Whilst I on the phone to my brother. My brother cringed. But. When I say I'm scarred for life. I mean it. It was so awkward after. I was so relieved to find out I will have sex again. I'm cackling. Thanks for the update. So glad to see everyone is okay and not completely traumatized lol. This is awkward but glad it all turned out okay. Doesn't sound terrible at all. My dad came in and watched like 4 seconds before he wanted to give me a high five. I screamed and he got out. My then GF just laughed. Glad it worked out. I've two short tales to tell that will make you feel infinitely better. When I met my now wife 27 years ago, I'd never had sex. She basically taught me what I now know, and we have a good normal sex life. But we were both living at home when we started. One night, things got horny in her living room while her parents were out. She was wearing a long pleated skirt and I had a tracksuit bottoms on. We were dressed but having a quickie where she was sitting on top of me. No knickers on. And we heard the front door open. She basically slid off me and I tucked my slef in. We were both m. Pretty moist. Her parents came in and sat on their sofa and chatted with us for nearly two hours. And the fire was getting hot. And we were both sweaty and getting smellier all the time. At one point my now father-in-law commented to his wife about how that smell was back that they got. Last week. It smelled musty and he would get a plumber to check it out. He asked my wife if she would make tea but the back of her skirt was soaked. And I had tucked her knickers into the gap between the two cushions where we were sitting. But miraculously my mother-in-law offered to go instead. Then after a while. They went to bed. It was mortifying. But we finished up after wards anyway. Another time. We were in our own home. We didn't have kids at the time. And we were going at it pretty hard. And I was behind her at the edge of our bed. And she just suddenly stopped. And said she heard her parents downstairs. She went to move and I jumped back. And I impaled the cheek of my ass hard enough on the corner of a drawer that I hadn't closed properly. But I also hit the drawer hard enough to close it and pinch the skin in between the edges too. So I ended up with a pinch injury and a cut. Then I realized she had been joking. Fuck. It's still marked. It all worked well in the end, nice. Guess you gotta just laugh man. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.